And good morning, good morning, those of you joining us on Spreaker Web Radio and those joining us on Spreecast, the Kingdom Messenger Network.com, bringing you social media prayer time. Those of you on Spreaker, you just get to hear us. Those and joining us as we simulcast on Spreecast, uh, getting to see our morning happy hair it's trying to fly away. So we're always uh, so uh, just blessed and honored that you would uh, join us to pray. Whether it recorded, many of you, we have some that live all over the country, all over the world for that matter, and many join us recorded. So it's always such an honor to come into your home, into your bedroom, into your living room, your dining room, and be able to lift up Jesus with you and be connected by the power of the Holy Spirit. What an honor it is. Got a song lined up. Uh, thank you. Amen. Uh, we'll just uh, thank you, Lord, for pleading the blood over this broadcast so we won't fade in and out on you. Thank you, Tina. That was very... Appreciate that. Y'all can do that, and we'll agree. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Um, that's awesome. Uh, let's see if I can... No, I don't want to do that because then I might mess things up. So. What are you going to do? So anyway, good morning, and let's, we always open up with good news from the Word of God. Uh, I'm Teresa, this is Anna. We are with the KingdomMessengerNetwork.com. If you want to find out more of the heart behind this ministry, I hope you'll check us out online, KingdomMessengerNetwork.com. All right, we always start off with good news. Anna has got the good news verse for today. Go ahead, sweet Anna. Okay. Dear brothers and sisters, be patient as you wait for the Lord's return. Consider the farmers who wait patiently for the rains in the fall and in the spring. Mm. They eagerly look for the valuable harvest to ripen. You too must be patient. Take courage, for the coming of the Lord is near. Don't grumble about each other, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. Mm. For look, the judge is standing at the door. For examples of patience and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, look at the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. We give great honor to those who endure under suffering. For instance, you know about Job, a man of great endurance. You can see how the Lord was kind to him at the end, for the Lord is full of tenderness and mercy. Mm. But most of all, my brothers and sisters, take neither an oath by heaven or earth or anything else, just to say a simple yes or no, that you will not sin and be condemned. Mm. Read that verse about God is full of tenderness and mercy. mercy. Yeah, read that verse again. Okay. Um couple verses back. The, you can see how the Lord was kind to him at the end, for the Lord is full of tenderness and mercy. Mm. Well, Lord, we just come humbly into your presence, and we thank you that you're full of tenderness and mercy. Lord, we thank you that every morning your uh, faithfulness is new. We thank you that we can come humbly and boldly at the same time into your presence and receive help in our time of need. We thank you for the privilege of joining with our brothers and sisters in the Lord, whether on a uh, social media th uh, platform called Spreaker or Spreecast or uh, later on YouTube, on the Kingdom Messenger Network. Father, we just thank you for the honor it is to be able to get up and rise up and say, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I thank you for the courage and faith, faith that presses on. We thank you that without faith it's impossible to please you because uh, he who believes in you must believe that you exist and that you're a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. So, Father, I thank you there's a reward with seeking you, just the blessings of peace. Father, I thank you for righteousness that comes from you. And as, I, as we pray and join together, we come to you seated in Christ, knowing that you transferred us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. What's revealed in the light is covered in the blood. So we come into the light, Father. We come into your presence with praise and thanksgiving, knowing that as we praise you, you inhabit the praises of your people. Father, we come to you armed with righteousness in our right hand, the righteousness not from us, because he who knew no sin became sin on our behalf, that we might become the righteousness in Christ. So, Father, we come in the... In the and knowing who we are in Christ, seated as you are seated at the right hand, so we are seated. 
And Father, we come humbly knowing that it's not a righteousness of our own acts. It could only be because of your finished work, the work on the cross. And that's how we know we overcome. We overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. Finished once and all, Jesus Christ on the cross. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We do not love our lives unto death. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you that we do not uh, war against flesh and blood. That we war, you know, in the spiritual realm. And that's what we love to do, Father. It's just praise you and honor you and decree who you are, which takes notice in the heavenly realms of decreeing that you are God, there is no other. To know that be still and know that you are God. To say God is a very refuge, a present help in trouble. To be able to speak that name of Jesus Christ in prayer and praise. Thank you, Father. And that's the name. The name above all names. Lord, that we know that one day every knee shall bow on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to your glory as it says in uh, Philippians 2 so we bless you Father blessed be the Lord God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heaven so Father we arise and shine we shall rise and shine in our kingdom authority, knowing who we are in Christ. And we simply, as we get out of bed, we make one person shake, and that's the enemy. Because we're going to rise and shine and take notice that we are a new creation in Christ. Old things have passed. We've ripped the rear view mirror out. We're pressing forward, forgetting those things that lie behind and reaching forward. Father, I thank you that it's you who is at work in us for good pleasure. It's you, what you started, you finish. Lord, you perfect that which concerns you. And I pray everyone listening live or recorded knows that God is perfecting their faith. And sometimes in the midst of the perfection, there's fire. Because you, Lord, you want us to be a pure reflection of you. So the fire comes to burn out the dross. So, Father, we ask you to create in us a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Father, I love that, that you just really brought that home. I was on my hands and knees yesterday in the bathroom, in, in the little bathroom where the shower is that, you know, you just take a shower and you get out and you don't think about what you're looking at. And I got a toothbrush out and Clorox out and I said, wow, Lord, as I'm getting some dust or stuff before, even before we bought this house, Lord, and cleaning these little tiny places out. Lord, that's how you want us. No hidden sin. Every little nook and cranny. You want us clean because you want us to be that vessel of honor and that you've created us to walk in that so thank you father lord i thank you that we can come together in the multitude of your mercy lord in the fear of you that we can worship you father i thank you that uh, i just thank you for this verse psalm 5 let all those who rejoice who put their trust in you but let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever sing for joy because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. So Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for my brothers and sisters listening live and recorded. That your very presence will go forth in their life and to surround them with favor, that we may be in the midst of famine and poverty and lack, but we'll, because of who we are in you, we'll be in the midst of Goshen. The kingdom wealth will be distributed, Father. And that wealth, not just financially, but spiritually, physically, emotionally, that you are raising up that remnant to walk confident, not confident in themselves, but confident in that their Lord God has got their back. He'll take care of them no matter what comes against them. Thank you, Father. Bless you, Jesus. We bless you and praise you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Lord, I just thank you for your presence, and I pray it goes forth mightily. As we lift up prayers, Father, we thank you for those that uh, trust us with prayer prayer requests. We pray for, uh, who came and visited? Emily? Emily. A new believer in the mm -hmm. Lord, Lord. We pray for her. And just pray that you raise her up, Lord, in the word. 
And I thank you she's tender now, Father. So I just pray you, you surround her with favor and that shield. Uh, Heather had some prayer requests. Did you see them? For yeah. a teacher. Oh, yeah. Uh, we lift up the request that Heather put forth, Lord, and thank you for moving course, mightily. Yeah. Lord, we continue to pray for our C-list, our Christless. The world says, the, the doctors say they have cancer, but we're just going to be the ones who stand and say they have healing for Frank's wife, Carly, Jody, Mike, Nancy, Joni, Dave in Seattle, and the latest one, Denise Yearwood, is going in for a test November 6th. Father, we thank you and stand in agreement for prayer, for healing. Father, uh, Ken out of Indie Gospel asked us to pray for uh, himself and, and the Indie Gospel. You can check that out, IndieGospel.org. It's an organization of supporting musicians. And Lord, so we lift up those men and women that you've armed with a song, Father. And we thank you for opening doors for their music to go forth. I also want to pray for, I always think, uh, I think Julia is not joining us, but the orphans and the widows. Thank you for those ministries that stand in the gap. Teresa Wiggins, uh, godly men like Jay who stand in the gap, lifting up prayer. So, Father, we pray for our two missionaries. I have not heard anything from those two women, whether or not they got out of Ecuador. So we pray, Father, for you to move mightily. Even now, protect them with that shield in the name of Jesus. And Father, for other needs, I want to pray for um, Nicole this morning. We haven't prayed for her in a while. And her situation with Anna and the grandbaby, Lord. I pray for deliverance and salvation to that family. I pray you continue to gird Nicole up with your faith and your strength in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I do pray for Julia. I thank you that you've called her and set her apart to write. I pray you fill her with your wisdom and your strength. And I believe, Father, for that gift of faith to bring a complete healing so her heart says for the orphans to go back out on the missionary field. But Lord, I just pray for a complete healing. So she can be free of pain. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We continue to pray for Marla's son, Matt, uh, who was in a motorcycle accident. Marla, known as the Fly Lady, if you're familiar with that online. I haven't heard any word on that. Maybe Patricia might have heard. So let's continue just to lift up that family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweet Jesus. I'm going to pl play a song. It's called I Will Carry You. And if you see it on your screen, you just drag it down. You can listen to it through our speakers. Or if I, when I say one, two, three, I'll click, you can click it play on your screen. So hang on to me. This is Selah. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, can I do the election thing? We're praying 40 days up until the election. And today's education. And we just, Lord, we ask you to forgive us for pushing God out of the schools. Lord, education, wow. We wonder why students are, it makes us pray for the youth. But so we do pray for education, Lord. We ask you that you go forth. We ask your presence to be restored in our schools in this country. The education system, Father, we pray that you'll promote leaders that will support him. And Lord, we pray that you'll protect our students from attacks from the enemy. And we pray that you'll get to the screen. As you on speaker, I'm trying to play something and it's not going to let me add it to the screen. No. I'll see it. Yeah, it's all right. Praise God. I'm going to put it in again. Uh, no, I don't know if it'll. I'm going to. You, you, can I try it again, y'all? Hold on just one second. We, uh, those of you who didn't join us yesterday, we, we, every time I put it in the screen, it, we went off the air. Oh, so there you go. Should I just say bye? Yeah. Oh, there it is. I need an assistant like Anna. All right, here we go. Let's see if it'll play. Can you hear me all right? <laughs> just give me a yay. Uh, okay, here we go. One, two, three. No, they can't hear us. Because it says waiting. Put us on camera. Pause it. No. Oh. There were photographs I wanted to take. Things I wanted to show. Oh, 
Well, hallelujah. He's there to carry you, and he's always got your back. That's Selah. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us for social media prayer time. God bless you. And as you, go, as you go about your day, I just pray the Lord bless you and keep you. And uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, the weekend, so that means at 8 a.m., Join us tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Firebrand Table Talk right here. You can find out more about that at facebook.com forward slash Teresa M. Croft. That's Teresa with an H. God